we are celebrating Joe Cambeets and his ongoing advocacy for salmon and their habitat. And the little yellow fish that swam around the world. We are also celebrating the people who work every day to keep streams healthy and alive. Joe worked with volunteers during his career with Fisheries and Oceans Canada and deeply respected their passion in protecting fish and their habitat. Joe's idea to help protect fish was to paint a yellow fish beside storm drains, which drain to a stream. We are celebrating the success of his idea and also showing that by engaging community through art, we can truly change the world. And now a few words from a friend that honors Joe's efforts to make the world a better place. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Councillor George Chaffee. I am here today and honored to be here today to talk about one of our most cherished elders in our community. We know him as Siva. I'm here today on behalf of the elders to and the community and council to say to him from the bottom of our hearts to say thank you for all the work that he has done, uh, not just in our community, but in British Columbia as a whole. His work uh, that's uh, been done to date is inspiring. It shows a path for our young ones there to move mountains, as our elders will always say. We are, he, we are proud of him. Our hands are up to him uh, there, and we are here to for him to follow in his example on exactly what an elder should be and what it should be for any elder in British Columbia to take an initiative like this to work through all everything that he's gone through. So on behalf of the council and community, thank you, Siwa, for everything that you have done for us. I am honored to say that people are honoring you as you deserve it uh, there. And please, whatever you do, don't stop with your teachings that are there. We all benefit from it. Thank you so much. As a little guy, Joe was excited to collect a little fish called Ooligan along the shores of the Fraser River near his Coquitlam First Nation grandmother's home. He proudly gave them to her so she could prepare them for the family meal. During the spring, the tides deposited these coveted Ooligan fish, also known as Swiwa in the local Halkamilam language, all along the shores of the lower Fraser River. So from this early age, she called him Swiwa because of his love for these fishes. An unfortunate accident at the age of 11 left Swiwa with only one arm. So during his time of recovery and healing, he turned to creating Indigenous art to speed his rehabilitation. Early in his adult life, he used that art to support himself by carving masks and small totem. Joe's love of art endures to this day as he continues to carve and share his knowledge with young people. After a strong start as a commercial artist, Joe's love of art and fish took him on a new path. He became a community advisor for the Federal Salmon Enhancement Program which launched in 1977. Around this time, Joe attended a BC Wildlife Federation conference in Williams Lake. There he heard stories about garbage being dumped along urban streams and paint and chemicals being dumped into storm drains. Now those storm drains led to streams and rivers, which then led to fish kills. So a lively debate followed on what to do. Joe as an artist, angler, and fish lover, using the tools that he was familiar with 
proposed a simple solution. Why not mark storm drains with art and engage local community in creating this art? From this conversation, the little yellow fish was born. The yellow fish became the storm drain marking program adopted by the Salmonid Enhancement Program 35 years ago. The paint or decals and door hangers were provided by the program. In partnership with municipalities, streamkeepers and other volunteers place yellow fish by storm drains and spread the message across British Columbia. Some municipalities have created fish imprinted in the metal grate. These yellow fish on storm drains did not just happen without real people making real effort. Well, we're here today to celebrate the contribution that Joe Cambites has made, not just to the Salmon Hudson program, but to community stewardship. I am one of those perishable volunteers that he originally thought of when he developed the yellow fish and the storm drain marking program. I was a guide leader with all these um, young ladies that wanted to do something beneficial for the environment. And we didn't really know where to start. We got a hold of our science coordinator at the school district who directed us to Bev Bowler. And that's the first contact we had. And poof, arrived at my house, a big wooden box. And myself and these young ladies traipsed this around for about seven years, marking storm drains in the Maple Creek watershed, which led to me becoming a stream keeper which in turn led me to understand stewardship was the most amazing place that I could ever work with people like Joe, who are a Renaissance person. Science, art, and people, putting them all together to make a difference for salmon. Well, here we are out on a day not meant for storm drain marking, maybe meant for ducks and fish, but we are out to celebrate Joe and his innovations. And it's one of the ways that we let people know, here's something you can do to make a difference today. You can paint or pound the yellow fish on the road, and then you put the door hangers out. And that was fun to be able to work with Bev Bowler on taking all of the marking program and turning it into that one flyer and having that opportunity to do things. I often get uh, calls from people wanting to do something and we have little do-it-yourself uh, storm drain marking kits, just enough to do your own neighborhood. It's not a life career change, you're just doing your neighborhood and painting that drain and hanging up those door hangers, but it's making a difference that you can do and you can, you can take your love for fish or your love for the environment and actually do something that's tangible, something that makes a difference in the world. When I paint that yellow fish next to the storm drain, it seems odd, but I feel like an artist. It's not something I do well usually, but I step back and admire my work. I've made a fish. From the wet coast of British Columbia, the yellow fish has migrated over the Rocky Mountains to Alberta. Under the sponsorship of Trout Unlimited, the yellowfish has migrated all across Canada, finding new streams to protect along the way. It has also found its way south to the USA and is now found all along the Pacific Northwest through Washington, Oregon, and California. It carried on east across the cold plains of the Midwest of the USA. By the time it got to New Jersey, it had turned blue. The yellow fish, after enjoying the comfort food of the warm USA South a little too much, seemed to have regained its composure as it headed over the Atlantic to the United Kingdom and points farther east. This message from the Southeast Rivers Trust in the UK may not last, but the message is clear. So the little yellow fish continued on its journey to visit the world and landed all the way down south in New Zealand, where its southern relations are used to raise awareness in Christchurch and other New Zealand cities. 
Back at home, Joe also used the yellow fish for river signage, which municipalities adopted widely. Salmon art can be found in unexpected places, in alleys and on the sides of old buildings. The message is clear. Salmon are precious and we should all work together to protect them. Art, such as painting fish at a community event, engages children in awareness and education. The Stream of Dreams program engages children in fish art with a message for everyone on fences throughout British Columbia. The Yellowfish has also inspired children's artwork with a message of all drains lead to fish habitat. Painting fish is a good way to engage children of any age in caring more about their protection. Here, Little Joe is painting a big concrete salmon at a community event, which is a symbol widely adopted at local volunteer-run hatcheries. British Columbia Community Salmon Enhancement Facilities have adopted the use of art to inspire people to help protect their salmon in their neighborhoods. When local fish people first got organized to protect their little salmon stream, Hyde Creek, the yellow fish was placed on storm drains throughout the community. From the simple tool of painting yellow fish, and engaging neighbors, the Hyde Creek Hatchery and Education Center grew into what it is today, inspiring salmon advocates from near and far. Salmon advocates from northern China enjoyed the art and stories about salmon at Hyde Creek and took these lessons back to their home streams. In many cultures around the North Pacific Ocean, salmon have sustained communities for generations. Salmon advocates are working together to protect the precious salmon resources within their own communities. China-based Take Me Home program developed by the Forever Nature Capital Foundation is taking a leadership role in protecting their damaha salmon in their watersheds. Even so far away from his home, they have heard of a salmon guy named Joe. Hi, Joe. 我是来自于永续自然资源保护公益基金会的高瑞瑞。那我们是从二零一五年开始在中国做大马哈鱼的保护和恢复工作。那非常感谢您送我的这样的一个鲑鱼的项链。让我们在项目开始之初的时候更有动力去做，以及能够一直坚持下去。我所在的地方呢，是在吉林省珲春市密江乡。那在这里边是大马汉语的故乡，也是由马苏大马汉语分布的地方。那现在呢，这条河流里边呢，马苏大马汉语的陆风行也在恢复着。那我们在这个村里边，跟当地的政府一起做了大马汉语的文化村。那希望人们以此来更多的了解大马汉语，那一起来参与保护。那现在呢，村里边人以有大马汉语为傲。非常感谢你在世界鲑鱼保护方面所做的影响，鲑鱼让我们连接在了一起。再次感谢您送给我的项链 ，Thank you, Joe. Joe's yellow fish has swum into the hearts and minds of British Columbians over a generation, and has been embraced by fish advocates across Canada and around the world. Recently, the iconic yellow fish returned home once again. And was adopted as the new logo of the Pacific Salmon Foundation, the premier salmon conservation organization in British Columbia. Did I say premier? Premier David Eby here. Joe, I want to say a big thanks for your lifetime of service. It's hard to imagine a better advocate for BC's iconic salmon. You started bursaries, mentored young people in the world of conservation. And you found creative ways to involve everyday British Columbians. We're all familiar with the yellow fish painted on storm drains. Thanks to your efforts, people now understand that these storm drains lead to salmon habitat. Creating real and lasting change is the sign of a successful career. And Joe, 
There's no doubt you've left an impact on salmon conservation in British Columbia. Congratulations and best wishes on your retirement. Thank you, Joe, for the little yellow fish who continues to protect our home streams wherever they are and for teaching new generations to love and protect fish. Here is a list of links to some of the fish friends who help out every day to protect streams and fish in their home watersheds. Thank you all for helping out with this honor of Joe Cambies and his love of art, fish and streams. What a better place to end this story of the yellowfish that protects streams than with the voice of the beautiful Thompson River, an old friend of Joe's.